What's up guys, this is Galen at ECU Master USA and today we're talking about relays. Uh, more specifically, how to use a relay um, to control the device using our auxiliary outputs in the EMU Black and the EMU Classic. So let's go take a look. Relays allow you to control high amp draw devices while utilizing a low amperage control circuit. The EMU Black and EMU Classic both feature six individual five amp low side auxiliary outputs but you can use to control the relay circuit for a high amp device like a coolant fan, fuel pump, electric water pump, or anything else like that. This means shorter wire runs on your high amperage circuits, which not only simplifies the circuit, but also makes them more robust and easier to diagnose in the case that something were to fail. A relay works by energizing an electromagnet via your control circuit. So a magnet will pull on a hinged armature, causing it to close a normally open circuit, which turns your device on. When you turn your control circuit off, that electromagnet is now de-energized, causing the spring to return that hinged armature to its resting state, opening the circuit to turn the device off. For this example, we're using a Bosch style four pin, 12 volt automotive relay, and those terminals are all numbered 85 to 86. We're going to run a 12 volt positive wire from our power source to terminal 86 here and our low output side wire from the EMU Black to terminal 85. This diagram is also available by clicking the question mark icon in both the coolant fan and fuel pump output panels in the EMU client software. Terminal 30, uh, you're going to use it as a high amp power supply to make sure that the fuse and wire size chosen is going to be suitable for the amperage demand of the circuit you're trying to control. And terminal 87 will be our 12 volt supply to the device you want to turn on. So that would go from the relay directly to the fuel pump. Most high quality relays are going to have a pinout printed on the side of the relay. And that's going to show you the pin function and pin assignment. So if you pay attention to that, you'll see what each pin does and you flip the relay over, you'll see that the numbers are molded right next to each pin. So as long as you're following the pin number for the pin assignment, you're going to have proper functionality out of this relay. Now I know you're seeing me hold this GM relay in my hand and it doesn't exactly look like the Bosch unit. Uh, however, the pinouts actually match. So even though there's that variance in where the pins are on the bottom side of this relay, it will operate the same as outlined in our diagram. So now that you know how to wire up a relay, we'll show you guys how to control that relay in our EMU client software. Thanks for watching and look forward to the next episode.